Hi everyone, I'm Kit Hard, Instructional Technology Supervisor at Port Huron Schools, and I'm going to show you a little problem that I've been seeing with Google account sign-ins on the Chrome browser and how to fix that problem so that you can have multiple Google sign-ins, perhaps your Gmail account, your work account, and student accounts, in the Google Chrome browser without creating conflicts and problems. So one of the things that a lot of people do when they want to have multiple accounts signed in is they come over here to this panel and click on the username and click the add account button. So you can sign in to 2, 3, 20 accounts this way but it sets up a problem and I'm going to demonstrate that now. So you'll see here I'm in this student demonstration account and then I have my work account here as well and I'm in Google Drive. So I'm going to open it up and what it does is it basically creates two instances of Google accounts. Here I've got my work account, here I've got my student account. When I go and open a new document in Google Drive, you'll notice when it creates this document that it reverts back over to the student account. So I'd switch to my work account and created a document that should be my work account, but it defaulted back to the student account. That's a problem. So I'm going to show you how to fix that now to avoid issues in the future. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go into the settings icon, I call it the hamburger bun, and come down to settings. In the settings, you'll want to come down to the place where it says people. You may have an account signed in here, or it may just say current. What you'll want to do is delete this profile from your Google Chrome browser and sort of start from scratch. When I click remove, it's going to remove basically all profiles and accounts that were previously signed in. But don't worry, with Google, once you sign in, all of your apps, your extensions, and settings, passwords, will return. So I'm going to sign in now with those accounts. The first account I'm going to sign into is my work account. This will set up a Chrome profile that's just for my work related documents and emails. When you get the link data icon, be sure to click on that rather than clicking cancel, otherwise you'll have to log in every time. Now that I'm signed into the browser, I can click on this OK Got It, and I'll see that there's a tab in the top right hand corner that indicates which Google profile I'm working out of, in this case my work profile. Now I'm going to add a second account. This could be a personal Gmail account. This might be a student account. And again, this is an instance where maybe a student is signing in so that they can uh, present their work. And then you'll be able to delete that profile off of your device. So I'm going to click Add Person. You'll see that it opens a new Chrome browser window. And down here I can see the one that has my work account because it's got my profile picture. And then I'll have a new profile picture for this account when I sign in with the student sign-in. Now I'll sign into that student account and again I have to click the link data button and then I can come over here and click OK got it. This allows you to switch back and forth between the accounts without having a conflict. Let me show you how. If I click on the tab that shows the profile that I'm currently logged into I can click on the switch person icon and now I'll see both profiles and I can quickly switch between the two accounts without having them overlap and create conflicts. I'll demonstrate that again by showing the Google Drive example that I showed earlier. So here I'm signed into the student account. I create a new document and it's signed into the student account. I'm going to switch to my work account, go to Google Drive, and start a new document. Here it's signed in with my work account and there's no conflict between the two. If I want to switch back to my other account, another fast way is to right click on top of this and then switch to the other profile that I have on this device. There's no limit to the amount of profiles that you can have here. I can add other accounts, but again, having them signed into the Chrome browser rather than switching by clicking on the add account 
through this particular setting will avoid conflicts in the future. I hope this tip helps you out as you're starting out the new year. Good luck and please never hesitate to contact the Instructional Technology Department if you have any questions or need support.